Looking for tips on all things art business related? Social media for artists? Or one line art? This is the place for you. Welcome to my channel. Hi guys, welcome to my channel one more time. Today we're going to be learning how to draw one line drawings of dogs. Of course, there's tons of people in the world that either love dogs or cats. We will have a tutorial on cats, but today we're going to be talking about how to draw one line drawings of dogs and what you should do in order to have a drawing that comes out nice and neat, regardless of your level of expertise using the one line drawing style. So I've been drawing dogs since the beginning of my one line art journey. And there's many things I've learned um, with the years. And one of those things is that it's so important to choose the right photo, right? So we're going to be talking about that. We're also going to be talking about how to draw specific types of uh, dog uh, races, dog, dog, um, yeah, races. So, because some of them are very different from each other. So you have uh, dogs that are super hairy. You have dogs that have a lot of skin. You have dogs that are have short hair and long snouts. You have shorts that have short snouts. So it's very um, important to choose the right reference photo when you're choosing when you're choosing to draw a dog using the one line art style. So yeah, um, this video was an idea of several of my followers on Instagram. They wrote to me asking for a tutorial on how to draw their pet dogs or on how to draw a bulldog or how to draw uh, any animal. So we're going to start with dogs and there will be many more tutorials to come. So, first of all, we are going to be um, deciding on photos and why those photos are good examples, good choices uh, versus which photos are bad choices. And then we're going to be choosing a hairy dog, so like some sort of labradoodle or poodle. So yeah, without further ado, let's get started. All right, so mm -hmm. first, I'm going to go on Pinterest and I'm going to choose a Labradoodle. Just like a uh -huh. Labradoodles are very hairy, as you guys can see, they have lots and lots and lots of hair. Now, because Labradoodles have, Labradoodles have so much hair, it is important not to use photos of them while looking straight to the camera. You want photos that have them on a complete profile or like a three-fourths profile. Why? Because you want to be able to portray, to show the depth of their faces without having too many lines on the way. Whenever you have someone facing front, you have kind of like a 2D view. And 2D is not very good when you have so many lines to work with. So, Labradoodles are great. So, I'm going to say, for example, that photos like this are very, very bad photo to use as a reference photo. And then you have photos like photos like on, copies three fourths. They're all facing towards me. Don't look at the camera, pop. Okay, sorry, my dog mom voice is not very ah great this is a great photo so this is a photo in which the dog is looking away from the camera there's lots you can do with it so i'm just gonna screenshot that and let's get right to it i'm going to take my screenshot i'm going to just save it to photos i'm going to open a new file 
And I'm just gonna import this. So for this particular dog, I want to be able to portray depth, depth. So I'm going to be using the syrup brush. You know, if you don't know what I'm talking about, you should be watching, you should watch my first tutorial on which are the best Procreate one line art brushes and why I use them. So I'm going to be using uh, syrup, but I'm not gonna be using the syrup that comes with Procreate. I'm going to be using my variation of syrup that I decided, I decided to call Thick and Thin. So this Thick and Thin brush that I'm using is not available on um, Procreate. This is a brush that I used for my own, that I created for myself, sort of. So, that I created for my own hand. If you have more questions about brushes, make sure to see my brush video. So, um, I created a layer on top of the image and I'm gonna get right to it. So, I will start with the ear. Just making sure I have all those little curls and... Okay, I don't like where that went. The nice thing about Procreate is that you can go back. So I want to make sure that those curls uh, are have thick and thin lines, thick and thin lines all over, so that it, it looks like it has some depth. So if you guys notice, the part of the face that's farthest from the camera, so the pup's left side, is going to have thinner lines than the part that's closer to the camera. So I'm trying to make these lines on this side quite thin. Looks a little bit like Chewbacca. <laughs> I'm gonna go back around and I'm gonna make sure that. Okay, so let's see how that looks like. You guys are ready? Hmm, this eye looks a little discombobulated. I know for a fact already. So I'm gonna just go back in and fix it. It's really hidden from the hair, that, that eye. So I'm gonna kind of try to fake it a bit. Okay, so 
see how that came along. I'm gonna just make sure I go in with the eye again. Right, let's see. What do you guys think? Let's see. Move the image to the side. All right. Curly hair dogs have to be pictured from the side, so a complete profile or a three fourths kind of way. Hi, I really hope that was useful. Um, just a few things. First of all, um, you can always comment below or send me a message on Instagram on, on any lessons that you would like me to teach. That's the first thing. Second thing, Remember, um, you can also go and find my courses on Skillshare. I actually have one on drawing one-line animals. And in this course, you don't learn how to draw just one type of dogs, for example. You get to draw different types of dogs with different types of fur, for example. Also, outside of dogs in this course, you can find cats, fish, bunnies, and birds. So, uh, Make sure you go to that link in the description below so that you can see what else you can find in that animals lesson. Without anything for now, I'll say goodbye to you. See ya.